Hey guys, on today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to look for your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch warranty. Okay, so on your iPhone, iPod or iPod Touch you have this settings tab. So you have to go into that app okay, where it says settings and from there you guys are going to look for your serial number or IME. Okay, um, for most of you just make it serial number, it's just the easiest thing. Uh, so just go into general, we're going to go into about. And in about, we're just going to scroll down till we see serial number okay so you can just copy that to copy that you can just hold your finger on top of that and copy it or just go to your computer and type it up okay so what we're gonna do is actually that so on our computer we're just gonna go into support apple.com first of all okay this is the main page of apple.com support once we're in support all you guys have to do is scroll down and down here below you guys are gonna see this it says check service and support coverage so just click on there we're gonna open that up and here you just have to paste in or write down the serial number which is this one okay so from here um, the serial number that I typed in is for an iMac so it's not the iPhone one but it's the same thing okay this works for pretty much any Apple product you can see when it expires okay so you can see the when it was activated when it expires do you have additional coverage and stuff like that so if you bought Apple care for it this is where you check as well um, there's no really other way of checking other than calling Apple. Uh, there's a few websites, but I don't recommend any of them. I recommend going straight to Apple and just looking up your serial number. From here, you can set up any repairs that you want. You can contact Apple support. Um, you don't always have to pay to contact Apple support. Let's say your telephone technician support is not, it's not longer su supported. It's um, out of date. It's okay you guys can still contact them and ask whatever you guys want to ask anyways if you guys are buying an iPhone iPad or iPod touch and it's older um, I do suggest looking at looking at it it doesn't matter if it has really small dents on it as long as you don't see any dust inside the screen and as long as you guys don't see anything that has maybe opened up being opened and you're okay alright if you guys see any signs of the iPhone um, being opened or something like that I wouldn't buy it I would never buy something refurbished by somebody other than Apple okay um, other than that this is how you look it up anyways if you guys have any comments questions you can write them down here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you